Okay, so Shivana has Ignite, she's also pressed the attack, so she's very strong in the early game until I have a couple of items. Uh, I think that once I have serrated Dirk and hit level 6, I should be okay. We have very good scaling with the Vladimir. The enemy team apparently doesn't have a lot of uh, AP. I don't know if the Shivana is actually going to be going AP. I don't think so because of the rune, but yeah. As to what lane I should be pathing to, my Fira has TP. Even if I kill the Tomkins, it's not like the Fury is going to demolish the matchup. It is way better for me to give attention to the Lucian Nami. It's literally too good of a lane. If I help them win, it's, they're going to take over the laning phase and probably over the game. Um, when it comes to itemization, this game I will not be going uh, Umbral Glaive first. Because I want to be building Serpent's Fang because of the amount of shields that the enemy is going to have. Tom Kench, Yasuo, and Renata mostly are going to be giving some shield, so I want to go be going Serpent's Fang because of that. Also, Yasuo is going to go Shield Bow, so yeah, I think Serpent's Fang definitely has value on this game. And I'm going Lethality because I follow my rule of 3-2, basically 3 of what and 2 of what. If there's two squishies, uh, I will go... Uh, Bruiser, and if there's two uh, tanks, which in this game there will be two tanks, Shivana and Tompkins, I go lethality so that I can one shot the remaining of, of the team. As for pathing, it's a no brainer, top lane to bottom, pretty easy, pretty standard, constantly looking at lanes. Uh, given that I'm gonna be playing for bot lane, I'm gonna be playing for objectives, right? Also, no brainer there. So let's take a look. Prio mid lane, I'm not entirely sure in how the matchup goes. Bot lane, I should have the Prio. They're bringing very defensive runes because they're afraid of the Lucian Nami, rightfully so. That's how the matchup works. And top lane, I really don't care. I think Shivana is going to be starting bot lane. And just pad towards top side. That also kind of makes sense. She cannot be playing for bot side because she would lose the 3v3. Depending on how the clear goes and how my opportunities look like, maybe I will go for the invade. Ah, uh, no, nah, it would be too. No, 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 no. That's too. That's too bad for me. I want to play for the Lucian Nami, and also I'm afraid of her ignite killing me and her Prezi attack. She could beat me on the 1v1. So it's very fine not. She started bottling. Tompkins wasn't lane. I don't have prior mid lane. Bot lane's looking like I lose the two the, the, the level two. That's why I don't like when people fake leash. But people never use the advantage that you give them early on, so it's okay. Somehow. Somehow that happens. I don't think I will be able to kill them. They're just, they should crash that wave and recall, so. Would be inefficient of me if I try to force a gank there. Looks like they didn't, but like that should never happen. That's why I said would be inefficient of me. I gave them too much credit here. Lucian is coming, so here is when I'm gonna go in for a gank. And I'm pinging on my way aggressively so that they chase a little bit hopefully backing off too much uh, unfortunate but I cannot do much over here I'm not gonna be going in for a gank I'm just gonna put a ward down not the best of wards but I don't want to be distracting myself too much from my clear because I already spent some time 
I didn't think that Shivana was gonna be topside, and as you can see, my Fiora didn't ward, but the gank should be avoidable. She had to use Flash, but she should be fine. Not exactly the greatest of early games, but not the worst. It's kind of like a whatever early game. Uh, Regal, I'm gonna continue farming. I'm gonna pick up the rated dirt, change it over to sweeper. here think that the enemy jungler should be there this ward is going to expire and that's mine um, probably hopefully on this cycle i will be able to pick up a dragon by either killing mid or bot lane this is warded My vision expired. We don't see the Shivana. I'm assuming Shivana should be on Rapid right now. Midling doesn't look gankable. It's full HP Yasuo. Shivana's there. Shivana has a little bit of EXP advantage over me because of uh, the EXP that she taxed from uh, from top lane. I have to check here Dragon and see that she's not on it. As expected, she has no flash and I see the Lucian rotating so I'm gonna pick up this fight. I see the Yasuo rotating for me so I have to back off. I would like to get this Dragon over here. They see me, so I probably have to. Okay, thankfully Yasuo didn't. I have to back off a little bit over here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get it because my bot lane didn't want to move. Like, literally, that's why I lose it. Because my bot lane didn't want to move. I have to recall because I'm way too low. I lose the dragon because my bot lane didn't want to move. Unfortunate. Probably I could have smited a little bit sooner, but I wasn't expecting Yasuo to flash on me, so that was sad. Uh, I'm gonna be passing bot lane towards stop lane so that I can make it in time for the objective. Losing that dragon is really sad. Hopefully, Shivana should be over here because the red just came up. So I think I will be meeting her top side. Hopefully, she doesn't make it in time for that scuttle before I do. But it's possible that she might. Yasuo has no flash. No ignite as well. I got both summoners. So over here, the Yasuo is nowhere to be seen. I'm going to be using this plant to see if the Scuttle is up. It is. So we clear that out. I simply get out over here. Because of the Prios, I cannot contest that Scuttle, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. It's important that I don't kill myself as much as I want to pick up that scuttle. I just can't, right? Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Like the Shiv like the Shivana team is helping her secure it, and as I mentioned, it is important that I don't die. I know there's a ward over there, so I'm gonna avoid it. It's important that I don't let the enemy see me if I don't have to. Sh Shivana's there. 
Hopefully I can do something to help out my Fiora over here. They're gonna push. Sweep. Hopefully I can get some isolation damage over here when they rotate. Okay, I wasn't expecting that much damage. She ignited the hell out of me. Yas was already rotating to kill me. I have to get the hell away from here. I have to give up the Herald. Contesting things, this game is proving to be very difficult. She ignited me. Maybe that's my fault for going for the top lane flip don't have enough damage to one shot the which is funny she only has an HP item and she beats the hell out of me so I know she was level 7 and I was 6 but it wouldn't matter if I was 7 there gonna recall there's a fight happening over here probably hopefully I can do something they get a double kill my bot lane is really strong, so probably I have to play with my bot lane here. The Shivana recalls. Will recall. And I, I think she's gonna be heading to this camp in the specific because this is the first camp that she killed. Dragon is coming up soon. Cancel my recall. This dragon is going to be coming up soon. 40. I'm not entirely sure if we can fight it. I mean, Lucian has uh, items, so if I play it out with my Lucian, it should be fine. Pick this up. The enemy put vision down there. So after clearing this, we're gonna look to make a play around bot side because it's my winning side of the map. We see Shivana around mid. Come on, clear it out, buddy. Hopefully I can get out. Mm -hmm. There we go. This is why we take the fight close to the bot lane. Like the enemy shouldn't be taking this fight. Remember how I was playing very patiently? I was playing very patiently because I know if I take the fight topside or with the Yasuo there or the Scuttle, it's gonna be it's gonna be a losing fight. I have to play respectfully of the enemy there because they're stronger on that side of the map at that point in time. So the enemy should have acknowledged that I was stronger on this part of the map at that point. Because of the Lucian having an item completed, the guy was 4-2 and two at that point. If they fight, it is very likely that they're gonna take the that they're gonna lose the fight. So if you're the Shivana, just concede. Literally concede. It's okay to try and contest, but as soon as you see a lot of heat, like a lot of champions over there, just give it up. Give it up. Don't don't try to ego your fight. Here I'm gonna recall because I have item completed. And as to what I should be doing, I need to get rid of bot lane turret so that I can move my bot lane over to the mid side of the map. So for that reason, I'm gonna clear like this. Probably will be red or gromp, not golems because it takes forever. Red, raptors, mid lane, into this, into this. Given the Herald there, I probably have to react 
do it. She's way too strong. When do I actually beat her, man? Feels like never. That's my fault. Like the ignite is making it so difficult to fight her. That's my fault. Like she's perma igniting and making everything so obnoxious. I'm glad you will die. Oh, no wind wall. No. Oh! Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, Lucian. Here yeah, I'm walking to the fence this turret because the enemy knows that Lucian is somewhere else. And well, this also gives me some EXP, right? Be on the lookout to the fin turrets. Don't give the enemy things for free, pretty much. Harold coming up in 30. I can farm all of my camps towards that side of the map. There's also a scuttle coming up. I don't think I will be making it in time for that scuttle. I think the Shivana arrives to that scuttle first. That's why I hate the Shivana matchup. I hate jungling against Shivana. They clear so fast. I hate playing against champions and clear in half a second. All the jungle. Kane, Evelyn, Shivana. I hate playing against all those champions. I hate it so, so, so much. Because it's they're literally unpunishable. I knew it. I knew it. I missed an auto attack. I knew that was gonna happen. It's so obnoxious. This camp just came up. Shivana's here. Finally. How does it feel to have people helping you, Shivana, right? Didn't make it in time. He was gonna blast stone anyways. Let's head over for the dragon. I prefer dragon over herald number two. Unfortunately, my Fiora just TP top lane for no reason. And my Vladimir is regaling when Dragon is coming up in 7 seconds. Hopefully someone face checks me over there. Hopefully with Lucian and I we have enough damage to one shot this but this is scary. Okay, we pick it up. I could have one shot at uh, like that guy if I was there. I'm gonna recall now and head head over to here. Gonna pick this up. This. That's it. Because this is the objective that we should be fighting over. We need help with the Fiora, no W apparently. Apparently we also drop the Herald. Flank angle, the okay, I have to jump. Given the situation, I have to jump. The way this fight is developing. Mm-hmm. So 
Serpent's Fang pretty soon. Steal a couple of camps over here. My red buff is coming up. My team is recalling, so I'm gonna recall with them because those are the strongest members in the game. There is also a red buff coming up. Um, I want to be over here because of Varen and three minutes on on Dragon, so not over here, over here. So for that reason, I'm gonna oh, gonna clear towards top. Once again, do not show your location if not needed. Like right here, picking up three caster minions and give away my positioning, not worth it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up golems so that I can hit 12. I'm a little bit of it stronger for a for a fight when it eventually happens. And play for vision around the top half of the map. also have a, a herald so maybe I will be able to use it somewhere there's a control word over here I have a guy fighting mechanical mistake there from the Lucian dashing in too aggressively what okay unfortunately she killed me shouldn't have flash I probably should have gone out that was such a grief jump by the Trisana, but even more of a grief by me flashing also. Renata was able to sh I think she shield her. Uh, next item... Cerildus, I believe it's, it's Cerildus. One minute on Dragon, so no longer should we be going for Varen. That was sort of a mechanical mistake by the Lucian. He like he shouldn't die there on that position. He has to be playing a little bit more careful. Um, but it's okay. Fortunately, I give my flash. We don't lose any major objective from it, so it's it's okay. We actually don't lose anything out of it, other than a couple of shutdowns. Yeah, so a flash. I know that. I don't know what else was used. I'm farming so that hopefully I can hit 13 prior to the fight commencing. And here look for a flank. Maybe I can deal some damage to the Tompkins here rotating. What can I do to that guy? Let's be honest. Answer is nothing. But here we have a flank angle. We have a really good flank angle. Just like that, we created a lot of damage. I, I cannot go in again because of uh, help of the Lucian deal some damage. Ah, oh, I cannot do more. I feel like I did a lot of damage on that fight, but we couldn't win it. And I also forced a lot of attention over from the enemy there. But uh, th at least that gives us the objective, which is good enough. I really feel like I failed my purpose there, which is do damage to the back line and force them into turning for me so that my Lucian can deal damage and my Vladimir can deal damage. But I I think my, my Vladimir did something wrong there. I wasn't looking at the fight itself to see exactly what happened, but I feel like he, he did something wrong. I'm gonna recall with them because even if I take this camp, it's not like my recall is gonna change. So it's better to be there on the map to with them to um, to keep up the tempo. Because if I go for this and then recall, then that means that my team has to wait for me. And if I recall over here, then they don't have to wait for me because we can take the fight already. Because I already recall and spent some money.
There's a scuttle coming up. I really want that scuttle. Did we take it? Looks like we did. Clear this word out. Play for vision on this top side of the map. Use W so that the enemy doesn't see us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can. There's a lot of people in the Fira bot side. But the illusion is really strong, so he deals a lot of damage. The Shivana doesn't have like doesn't have flash. Why do I get ignited, dude? Why do I always get ignited? Why am I always getting karma ignited? Okay. I'm gonna pick this up. Obviously, I should give it over to the Lucian, but we have Varen and we need to pressure, right? So, I also want a little bit of regen here. Walk up with the team. Control where this. Poke a little bit with some W's there. I have no clue why the Lucian is so afraid of auto attacking there. If he has flash, he has everything. He shouldn't be so afraid of auto attacking, to be completely honest. We get to this. And now we group up with the Fiora over here but zone them a little bit like as you can see i'm walking and i'm sort of zoning them i have the yasuo and the tristana's attention after you run for my life over here okay shouldn't have jumped but eh, it's okay like i get the tristana out of that fight i force the shivana to use ultimate and i give my team the inhibitor my death had meaning oh run my death had meaning. Even if my team didn't help me, we got two inhibitors, which is completely fine. A minute on, on dragon. I didn't need to die. I completely agree. I didn't need to die. Like Tristana and I jumped at the same time, so my jump ended up being, being in an awkward spot. Uh, but it was good. It was good. It, it, it had meaning. Over here, we're just gonna be playing for soul. Sadly, why, 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 just give the, what the hell? Scuttle, do we have it? Is it possible to pick up? Nice. We need mid prior. Would be cool to have Prius here. Would be really cool to have Prius so that we can get flank angles. I cannot be jumping in because I'm lacking vision. I cannot be too jumping too aggressively there on the Shivana because I don't one shot and also um And also, well, something, I forgot. Uh, I cannot be jumping on the Shivana because I don't one-shot. And also, if I get ultied by the Shivana, I can get ultied by the Yasuo. And I will probably die from that combo. Here, what we got to do is push some waves and punish the timers. And as you can see, it's a 4v2 because he's over there. It's literally a 4v2. Deal a couple of damage and jump to get out. That will force him into not being able to defend the turrets. Ooh. 
Please, Lord. Ah! Mm, just like that, it's a game. Mm, I want to take a look at the damages. Even if I didn't kill a lot of people, I feel like I really did my job in which is helping the team out. Well, setting up the Lucian for success, like help him auto at that, give him good auto, give, give him good team fight angles, right? He played really good, so did Nami. Uh, both of them played really good. Other than him and Nami not rotating for the dragon, uh, I feel like they played really good. When it comes to damage, I was second highest in the game. I don't know why it looks like in the middle, but I did second highest damage in the game, and it's basically because of Lucian being so fed that he can do whatever the hell he wants, but pretty, all in all, a pretty good game, I'd say. And how to play if you're not the main character in the video game.